The top official of the U.S. Air Force in Europe, General James Hecker, has verified that Ukraine has already been given precision-guided bombs that can be launched from aircraft. As reported by War Zone, General Hecker affirmed that he was referring specifically to the Joint Direct Attack Munition Extended Range, or JDANER precision-guided bombs made by Boeing Co., confirming previous report from Bloomberg. According to General Hecker, the air-launched JDAMER precision-guided bombs were delivered to Ukraine approximately three weeks ago, and some speculate that the Ukrainian military has already begun using a small quantity of this advanced munitions against Russian forces. The JDAM is a type of guided air-to-surface weapon that can carry different warheads ranging from 500 pounds to 2,000 pounds, including the BLU-109 hard-target penetrator, the Mark 84 BLU-117 the Mark 83 BLU-110, or the Mark 82 BLU-111 BLU-126. It is typically between 9.9 .9 to 12.75 feet long, has a wingspan of 19.6 to 25 inches, and can be fired from 15 nautical miles away with an accuracy of between 23 to 43 feet. The typical JDANs utilize a mix of GPS and INS guidance along with an autopilot to control the course of the bomb using adjustable tail fins. On the other hand, the complete JDAM guidance tail kit adds aerodynamic surfaces to existing unguided freefall bombs, which also includes an INS and a GPS guidance control unit. This enables the bomb to be released after ignition, allowing for precise targeting of fixed and relocatable targets. The JGAM also allows for multiple weapon releases against single or multiple targets in a single pass. When using JDAMs, the target coordinates can be programmed into the aircraft before takeoff or modified by the aircrew during flight. Target coordinates can also be entered via a target designation data link from onboard sensors such as Lightning II or sniper targeting pods. This data is transferred to the weapon before it is released from the aircraft. Once released, the JDAM navigates to the designated target autonomously. In its most precise mode with GPS data, the JDAM system can locate and strike within 30 feet, with a circular error probable or CEP of less than 20 feet during free flight. The GPS signal allows JDAM to be used in cloudy or smoky conditions. Without GPS data, JDAM can still achieve a CEP of 30 feet or less with a GPS quality handover from the aircraft for up to 100 seconds of free flight. JGAMs can be launched from various altitudes and with different delivery methods, improving the accuracy of unguided bombs in any weather condition and from extreme altitudes. This system is often referred to as an adverse weather precision guided smart munition. What sets JDAM apart is its ability to resist GPS jamming equipment, which is usually able to interfere with or block GPS signals. This is because of the sequential tracking and software corrections built into the JDAM system, which allow the bombs to switch to inertial navigation if the GPS signal is disrupted. This means that jamming is only effective at the last stages of the JDAM's trajectory, when it is almost on target. So what makes JDAM and JDAM-ER different? Well, depending on the altitude of its release, JDAM can reach targets up to a distance of 15 miles, while the JDAM-ER extends this range with the wing kit. Upon release, the bomb's wings of JDAM-ER unfold, enabling it to glide for up to 45 miles, which is three times the range of the original weapon. Boeing, the manufacturer of the weapon, claims that both the JDAM and JDAM-ER kits can convert ordinary bombs into precision-guided smart munitions that can perform effectively in harsh weather. These kits offer a cost-effective method of transforming unguided bombs into fire-and-forget weapons weighing 498 pounds, with the JDA and ER kit having the additional capability of tripling the range of the original bomb. Unfortunately, the exact configuration of the JDA and ERs supplied to Ukraine remains unknown, as they have only been referred by General Hecker as GBU-62, which is also the designation used for the GBU-62V1-B, or also known as the Quick Strike EER. This variant combines the JDAM ER kit with a 2,000 pound class Mark 64 Quick Strike naval mine. However, given that the Quick Strike mines, which are based on Mark 80 series bombs, are not intended for general purpose strikes, it is uncertain if the JDAM ERs given to Ukraine use traditional bombs or converted Quick Strike mines as warheads. It is also unclear what aircraft are used by the Ukrainian Air Force to deploy these weapons. 
Despite this, General Hecker's comments on the JDAMER came after a conversation about integrating the AGM-88 high-speed anti-radiation missiles onto MiG-29 Fulcrum and Su-27 flanker fighters. It is possible that the Ukrainian Air Force is using MiG-29 Fulcrum and Su-27 flanker fighters to deliver JDAMERs, considering the previous discussions about enabling these Soviet era jets to fire AGM-88. However, other aircraft in Ukraine's tactical aviation fleet, such as the Su-24 Fencers and Su-25 Frogfoots, could also potentially be used. It should be noted that according to General Hecker, Ukraine's supply of JDAMERs is limited, only enough for a few strikes. The JGAM guidance system, along with the bomb, costs less than $30,000, which is significantly cheaper than weapons like cruise missiles that can cost over a million dollars. Despite the lower cost, JDAM can hit its target with great precision, and the value of the destroyed target could be over a hundred times the cost of JDAM. This makes JDAM an advantageous option for the warfighters due to its favorable cost exchange ratio. The JDAM air kits are being provided to Kyiv as part of the U.S.'s security aid since February 24, 2022, when Russian troops entered Ukraine. According to data from the Defense Department as reported by Newsweek, the total amount of aid provided by the U.S. is approximately $32.2 billion. However, the data on security aid does not specifically mention the JDAMER kits, but it does refer to precision aerial munitions. Newsweek stated that a $1.85 billion U.S. military aid package for Ukraine would contain precision aerial munitions, the quantity of which was not disclosed. The Pentagon later clarified that this referred to joint direct attack munitions. On March 3, Secretary of State Antony Blinken announced a new aid package for Ukraine worth $400 million. The U.S. military analysts suggest that even a small number of JDAMERs will present an unprecedented challenge for Russian forces. This is because the JDAMER's wing kit, which increases the range of the weapon, the JDAM INS component of the guidance package, which ensures accuracy even in GPS denied environments, and the larger JDAM ER 2000 pound class warheads would result in increased firepower to the Ukrainian forces. These features allow for an expansion of the range of targets that Ukrainian forces could potentially destroy, as well as increase the survivability of the aircraft launching the weapon. As discussed by Eurasian Times, both Russian and Ukrainian air forces have lost multiple warplanes to surface-to-air missiles and manpads. Thus, the introduction of JDAMERs could be a lifesaver for the already outnumbered Ukrainian air force against the Russian aerospace forces. General Hecker also highlighted that JDAMER will enable the Ukrainian forces to attack new sets of targets, which were previously beyond the range of Ukraine's existing inventory of air-launched and ground-based weapons, such as the U.S.-supplied HIMARS and other nations' M270 MLRS variants. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.